Oh, what is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and welcome to Countryside 1999. This is a little found footage horror game that's available on Itch right now. I think it's currently in early alpha, um, so we'll see how long the game actually is. But here's the description. One construction worker quit his job after encountering what he believed was a strange creature. An old Victorian house had been sitting vacant for years, so crews came in to begin demolishing it to make way for a new building. However, it wasn't long after the demolition started that one of the crewmen spotted a strange creature inside the building. Hold the right mouse button to zoom and interact. When you see a red color text, hold for three seconds until it disappear. You need to be at correct distance from it, pretty close. It works when your camera don't zoom. All right, let's check out the tape. And this is the same developer that did Lilith's Curse 1984. Yo. No, this is too realistic looking. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Also, I'm going to turn it down ever so slightly. <laughs> um, okay, I don't have a volume here, so I'll turn it down on my recording system. Hopefully that's a little bit better for everybody, as well as myself. Oh, this is... Oh, this is horrendous. <laughs> oh, this looks too real. Oh. Oh no. All right, I guess we gotta find the house. I can't run or do anything else. Apparently it's October 26th of 1999. I am recording this in October. Spooktober, in fact. I guess I'm following this little natural trail. Hello? Looks like we got a structure over here. Is this the old Victorian home? I hope so. Just heard something running there, right? Oh, I'm not a fan of this. I am not a fan of this whatsoever. Hello? <laughs> oh, I hate this. <laughs> Let's walk up here first. Hello? Anybody at this house? Oh, what are those noises? Nice, we got a little tractor over here. Because that's the construction crew that just got left behind after they spotted a strange entity. All right, I'm just... Little crow, where you at? Where you at, buddy? You're my only friend here. Last person alive hears knocking. What? Okay, I activated it. What? Was that laughing? Oh, I hate this. I hate this. Okay. All right, we've got our entrance, obviously. What's over here? Candle? What is that? I'm not, I'm not gonna look over there yet. <laughs> I need to figure out what's going on with the chair. Okay. Interesting, got a little bird cage outside. Let's go check out this decrepit old house. I'm I'm genuinely terrified of this game right now. <laughs> I don't know what I should be doing. Oh my gosh. Hello? Built 1937. Sven Finch. Is that uh, an Edith Finch reference? <laughs> oh, a little cockatiel! Aww. I had a little cockatiel. My only pet. His name's Boo Boo. Or his name was Boo Boo. He's not alive anymore. <laughs> um, wonderful little guy. He lived to be very, very old in his 20s. I'm gonna go through the house, see what's going on. Can open the door? 
Doesn't look like it. Oh my gosh. What are these sounds? <laughs> I don't know if I want to keep growing. Oh, oh boy. Some kind of massacre happened in here. They really like birds as well. And medication. <laughs> okay, I see another thing on the wall over here. I love that. Just a little, hello. <laughs> okay, let's, um, gosh, where'd it go? There it is. Let's go and check it out. Oh boy. Does this mean they're behind us? Because we can't go any further. Surprisingly not. Hello? I'm just... <laughs> I'm just checking out the house, man! I was a little worried. Who's humming? Who's singing? Oh, the door's open now. Perfect. Why is there... Who's, who's reading a book right now at this hour in this darkness? I thought the door closed. What does this say? Just saw my reflection blink. Oh! 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 I want to go home, please. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. Where do I go? Where do I go? What do I do? I'm just gonna go outside. I'm just gonna go outside. I'm gonna go, go to the left and leave. I swear, if this door closes as I'm trying to walk to it, I'm gonna scream. Can I go? Can I go? <laughs> let me out, let me out. What do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? What do I do? If I was this dude, I wouldn't even bother <laughs> trying to check anything else out. I'm just leaving. Can I go? That humming... That humming seemed very, very familiar, by the way. Like, it was some from something. The melody in some regard. You know what? I can't be a scaredy cat. I'm going back into this stupid house. Ooh, they got cable. Or satellite TV. <laughs> going back into this stupid house. I'm gonna face my fears head on. See what else might be out here. I'm sure there's more little messages to see. Other than our friend Boo Boo over here. I miss you, Boo Boo. Stop it with that laughing, please. Not a fan. Maybe something changed over here now. Nothing that I can tell. <laughs> I really don't want to turn around. Okay.
Okay, let, let's just see if there's anything else in the room. Anything else in the room. Because I'm looking at the walls just to find more red text. And it talked about a reflection on that last one. So I don't know if maybe there was a mirror somewhere that I missed? Oh! Oh no. <laughs> I... <laughs> okay, I'm going back over here. This is a little disorienting, I'm not gonna lie. Just the the fisheye kind of bubbled effect on the outer ends of it really kind of disorients you as you go through. It's very effective, very effective. What am I hearing? What am I hearing right now? What is that? Oh, it's just yarn. Okay, we're gonna go back outside, because I don't think there's anything else in here. I was just gonna walk back from where I came. Um, apparently that was the right choice. <laughs> I haven't seen the strange entity yet. Maybe I will out here. Just maybe, we'll find it. Anything on the tractor? Anything else? No. Oh, oh. The front door cleared up. I see, I see. There will be blood. In all caps. Do I go walk away? Do I leave? Or we'll go back in the Okay, I'm gonna follow the I'm gonna follow the singing. Because obviously, that's where the game wants us to be. It wants us to be in the singing place. Maybe the debris will be gone now inside of the house. Man, they really like reading their <laughs> their book. Just enjoying some good uh good stories. Good manga. <laughs> Manga. Okay, I keep hearing doors shutting behind me, but they never actually shut. Explored all the hallways and there were a lot of hallways. Some of them didn't have temporary lighting installed, so they were pitch black. All of a sudden, his ears began ringing, the sound and pitch got louder and louder until it was unbearable. He dropped to his knees, grabbing his ears and crying out in pain 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 and crying out in pain. Out in pain, out in pain. Interesting. So maybe a new chapter is going to be coming up at a later time? Very interesting. That was really cool. I I'm going to eject just so we don't stop hearing the. Uh, Static effect. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was uh, Countryside 1991, uh, 1999. Very, very cool. S incredibly, incredibly effective with just the way that it, like, really sucks you in. It makes you feel like you're in this location, walking around with a VHS. And, and I know, like, it, it doesn't necessarily, like, if you really look at things, you know it's like video game graphics, but the way that the, they made the VHS filter work for this game, really, and, and especially the the light movement that's a little bit separate from the actual camera, so it doesn't one-to-one -one, like react. So here's your, your light moving with you, and it moves slightly separate from the actual camera. That's an incredibly infect, uh, infective, effective 
uh, technique to really kind of bring in some more realism. Um, so that that was honestly just had me completely on the edge of my seat the whole time. Um, I turned down the the volume of this game quite a lot, so I I bet I would have been even like more terrified going into that final jump scare noise. Um, but I, I think the game really did well in not actually having any immediate scares. So I don't know if maybe I just missed the the creature or the thing. But that was uh, that was that was really really cool. I'm actually really curious. Like, I kind of want to go back in and see if I can find and see if there was anything actually in the game. You know, what? let me go do that. Hold on a second. Be right back. Okay, we're back. <laughs> this is the very end. Um, wondering if I'd like turn around. Maybe I'll see something. No, I didn't see anything. Okay, so it is just a noise-related thing. Ah, uh, so scary. <laughs> I, I know I just played the game, but I was still, like, as I was replaying it <laughs> without any commentary, I was still getting, like, chills the whole time through. But yeah, that was wild. That was a... Why does a Steam VR pull up when I do that? Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was wild. Very, very good. Uh, again, I mentioned that this is another game that was done by um, Kuni Pinka? which they did 1984 Lilith's Curse, which had a very similar kind of um, found footage style. This one was a very short little game, um, and I really wanted more out of it. I don't know. Yeah, it's still just a demo at this point. Um, but this one had some pretty good potential from what I recall. Seemed like a really awesome game. But um, curious what they're going to continue to do for this one as well. I know they didn't finish the other game yet, so I wonder if... They just kind of jump and do these little mini projects and don't necessarily plan to do too much else with them. But I could see this one being absolutely terrifying, kind of running through and trying to kind of find all of these different secrets. Uh, really, the only feedback I would give for this one in particular is um, finding the notes on the wall uh, is a little immersion breaking just because it's just like random red text. Like maybe relate it like maybe even putting in like missions like find the x item find the y item find the z item like go find the their favorite the family's favorite photo of their bird and then when you look at the bird it like has some type of thing that's related to the story so that way it's a little bit more immersive in that way but um other than that very well done for this and can't wait to see what else they come up with here in the future but I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Love to hear any thoughts and feelings from you all. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you'd like to see any more content from me, welcome to follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, got a Discord channel, a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later. <laughs>